Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alicia Renee, and you are probably wondering, what am I randomly doing here in this theater, eating this nice bag of popcorn? Uh -huh. Well, I'm in the NYC celebrating Urban World's 12th annual film festival, where we are here celebrating the works of filmmakers of color. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is our platform where we can be heard. We are sharing our stories. So, I'm going to speak to some of the filmmakers, some of the big wigs, find out a little bit more about Urban World, as well as check out some movies, and enjoy some parties. So, let's go. Oh, and in case you didn't know, your access has officially been granted. <laughs> And it's networking time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here at the Filmmakers Ball, where all of the filmmakers are getting the opportunity to mingle, jingle, discuss business, orchestrate some new films. So let's go inside and see what's going on. Urban World is probably the only place that really gives filmmakers of color their own home. It's like our Cannes Film Festival. And so when we started this, people said, there weren't enough movies to have a black film festival and there wasn't a reason to have a black film festival and Urban World has premiered more number one films than any other f North American film festival in a 10 year period mm -hmm. so that's evidence right there we're very strong at the box office and our people want to see movies we love movies I just want to come to be inspired I mean it's just a great way you know to be inspired and to add to your own work to be able to see other films uh, that speak to different aspects of the African American experience the urban experience uh, you go to a film festival like this and usually the shorts are really really great but right. the features are kind of so-so mm -hmm. but this year from the features you know on down to the shorts and everything else it's just it's just top class and now that they have this relationship with BET it's just on another level so you have a film premiering in the film festival this year correct oh absolutely absolutely it's called the will then the be mm -hmm. all right so instead of a black girl from the south uh, of LA you have a Puerto Rican girl from the South Bronx who's gonna work her way through the uh, BX spelling bee. A Wilda and the Bee. The story's about me, a fly chick from the South Bronx trying to come up. That's right, I got an A++. You know why? Because I'm a Wilda Lopez and I'm naturally good like that. My teacher told me to do the spelling bee at school and I went mad easy because I got it like that. We're gonna leave everybody with this one bit of advice that you guys can give to young screenwriters and filmmakers in the industry of color. What bit of advice would you guys give to them? Uh, keep going, be persistent, and learn from your mistakes. I guess I might have even applied to you guys back in 2000 with a short film when I got at NYU. And so I've always been coming to Urban World, and uh, I had the pleasure of my film Premium screening here in 2005. Don't worry about not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel right now. Write, and someone will find your product. here at the Magic Johnson Theater in Harlem for the official kickoff for the Urban World Festival. I'm here with Steve Harvey. You got Still Trippin' premiering tonight. Yeah. Now, I don't know how they picked my film to open the film <laughs> festival. I mean, it really is, it's a, it's a stand-up, you know, it's a stand-up film. It's, I was just going to send it straight to DVD and just cut, cut try, the middle try to make a little money and <laughs> send a couple more kids to school. That was really my goal. From Cold Black Entertainment. This ain't the radio show. One of the original kings of comedy is back. Polygamist. Why would you want eight more of them? Steve Harvey is funnier than ever and talking about everyone, including his family. So we go to the wedding. I know good and hell well you ain't got no money for no dolls. The engines came out. Black crows came out. I mean, this is a. Uh, this is like uh, the other side of my last uh, film that I did was uh, Don't Trip, He Ain't Through With Me Yet, but I shot that with my friend and uh, mentor Bishop T.D. Jakes at Megafest. This is the other side. This is called Steel Tripping. Mm -hmm. um, this is not in front of the church folks. Oh, I, this, this, this yeah. for the people sitting in the back pew? Yeah, I had a couple of things that I wanted to really get off my chest. and I kind of needed to have the freedom to do it. I think it is very important. I, I, I myself am a filmmaker. I just produced my own stand-up special called The Queen Stands Alone. And so I am here supporting him with a pen and pad, taking notes from a king. So <laughs> I, I'm just like a 
a sponge absorbing all of this. And I think it's important for us as African Americans to support things like this. I'm standing here with Stephen A. Smith. Now you're here to support, of course, Steve Harvey. Absolutely. All right, what brings you out um, just to urban world in general? I mean, obviously, you know, just, just thinking about some of the things that Steve Harvey is doing is just a fantastic, you know, venture in terms of he's always concerned about the community. He's always trying to do positive things. He told me to make sure I brought my behind out here. I had to make sure that I do that. <laughs> and I know he said that with such a fervent passion. Yes, he did. Yes, yes. <laughs> See, now I'm telling you, you better bring your butt back here. Yeah, I know. I said, wait, I know. Wait. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> All right, guys. So my access was granted to Steve Harvey's hilariously funny new movie, Still Trippin'. And I want you guys to know that your access is now granted to the exclusive after party. Let's go check it out. but I really needed to um, just show up and be prepared and be there for Lee to guide me through what I had to do and not be a diva, as they say. Somebody told me I was a diva once, I don't know.